Hello there, it's Dean from Electrona Sounds. Stick around, today I'm gonna show you how I'm filming and setting... <laughs> What's happening guys, it's Dean from Electrona Sounds. Stick around, today I'm gonna show you how I'm setting up and filming my YouTube videos. Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. So first things first, today we're gonna start with an iPad Air 2. And we're going to use the Novation Audio Hub 2x4 for an audio interface. We're going to take the Audio Hub 2x4 and we're going to plug that into our iPad using the USB to Lightning Connector 3 from Apple. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and get some battery power to our iPad here. Actually, we'll go ahead and use wall power today. And what we'll do is we'll use the extra plug-in on the uh, USB to Lightning 3 adapter from Apple. We'll just plug that right into the wall power here. Okay, fantastic. I've got a, a Behringer Pro Mixer DX2000 USB over here. And basically, the reason that I got this mixer is because it has a, a crossfader, which I have yet to really utilize in the studio. Um, but also because it has a USB output from the back. So I'm taking quarter inch cables from the Novation Audio Hub 2x4 and we're going directly into this Behringer mixer. Now I'm taking just a standard microphone. This is just a Carvin CM50. It's kind of uh, sort of equivalent to like a Shure 57 or a Shure 58. Just a cheap uh, work workhorse microphone. And I've got that plugged directly into the mixer as well. So when I'm making the videos, I've got the iPad audio signal going into the mixer and then I've got my voice coming into the mixer from the microphone. Now if I were to plug the mixer into a set of my speakers, that would probably cause a feedback loop as the microphone would feed back into the speakers. And how I'm avoiding that is I'm literally just using a pair of headphones plugged into the mixer when I'm making my videos so that there's no speakers involved and no possibility uh, of a feedback loop. And that's allowing us to take the USB out from the back of our mixer. Now, a lot of mixers have the USB out, so yours might even have that um, on the back of it. I would say check if you don't know for sure. Now, to get the USB audio into the phone, I'm taking another USB to Lightning 3 adapter from Apple. And I'm plugging the USB from the Behringer into that. And we're gonna plug this directly into the phone. Now, if we want to get power to the phone while we're filming, we can plug that into uh, wall power. A lot of times I like to just use a battery so that I can move the camera around the room. This is an Anchor USB battery that I like to use. It'll power the phone for pretty much all day. And there we go. And now we're getting power to the phone as we're filming. I would just put the battery out of the shot. And this is getting us audio to the phone from the mixer and power to the phone from the USB. And we're good to go. This is the app that I'm using to film with. It's just a generic labeled app called Pro Movie. And uh, I'm shooting in 4K, 60 frames a second uh, with these new videos. Not with what I'm shooting now because I'm shooting with an iPad Air 2. Um, but how I'm adjusting the audio level into the phone, just to show you guys, is actually done on the mixer itself and not in the phone. So you see, when I open the app, it's got a little meter at the top that's flashing, and that's your audio input meter. And I want to get this, you know, pretty high up to the top, but I don't want to get it going over the peak input. You can see I can, you know, see the input level that I'm sending into the mixer here from the Novation Audio Hub. And so I have a couple of options on how I can adjust how hot the signal is that's going into the phone. I can adjust the audio on the output of the audio hub, you can see we've got no signal now if I turn it all the way down. Or I can turn that all the way up and we can get a really hot signal. I usually leave that about three quarters of the way up. And then on the mixer channel where I've got the audio hub routed, at the top I've got a gain knob. And I usually will, you know, try to keep the volume of this channel maxed out. 
and then I'll sort of just adjust the gain as necessary until I've got a really hot signal level going into the phone, but certainly not clipping the audio signal. I'm going to show you real quick how I'm lighting the room right now. I don't have any inbuilt lighting with the new um, acoustic, you know, cave here. Um, but I've got two tower lights, just standard tower lights at the front of the room, which I keep on full blast when I'm doing the videos and stuff. And then in the back, I'm using some newer, I don't know how to say it, N-E-E-W-E-R brand lights. And I've got those on stands and... They're adjustable, uh, let's see here, so that you can get, you know, whatever degree of light you need. And they have these little, you know, frosted jobbers on the front to kind of help diffuse the light a little bit. They come with some yellow ones as well if you need a more um, fluorescent-based color scheme. Anyhow, that's how I'm lighting this right now. I definitely need to figure out some more, uh, some more lighting for this room. <laughs> So that's how I'm shooting my videos in here right now, guys. I hope this has been informative, and be sure and subscribe for more shenanigans.